Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a fun way to display the dot indicators when you're swiping around. Now there are a bunch of effects you can choose from so I'll link the package below but I've boiled it down to just my top three which I'll show you right now. So first we've got the jumping dots. Second we have the swapping dots. And finally, we've got here the expanding dots. So comment below which one is your favorite, but I'll show you how to implement these three by jumping into the code. So to keep everyone on the same page, I've got here my main function running my app, which is running my home page, which is just a stateless widget. And inside I've got here a basic page view, which I covered in a previous tutorial. So please check that out first. But the quick summary is we give this page controller to the page view so that we know which page we're on. And I've got here four pages where each page is just a very simple container. I'll link the full code below for reference, but this basic setup allows us to scroll between pages like this. Okay, so now this is where we can introduce the dot indicators by going to the popspec.yaml file and add this dependency called smooth page indicator. And for the version number, I'm just going to use the version as of today. Cool, so save it and let's close this file. So now below the page view, if you start typing smooth page indicator, you should see what we just imported. And it's requiring us to give it a controller, which we already have. And for the count, this is just how many pages you've got. So we've got four pages. And if I just save this, it should pop up there and you can start swiping below. Like I said, there's a bunch of effects for you to choose from. And so the one I want to show you here is the expanding dots effect. This is one of them. And inside you can of course specify the colors. So active dot color, just for the theme of my app, I just want to make this deep purple. And the dot color, this is going to be the inactive dot color. So I just want to make it a lighter shade of the deep purple. And let's increase the size of these dots. So if I save this, let's see how that looks. And there it is. So this is the expanding effect. You can also specify this spacing, which looks like it's eight by default. Let's make this say 30 and space out these dots a bit more. Or maybe just 16 will do. And then the other effect I really like is this swap effect. So if I just save this, you can now see the dots just swapping with each other as you move from page to page. This one's pretty cute. And then the last one I really like is this jumping dot effect. Now if you just save this, you can see it jumping, but this one has a few extra properties that you can specify. So firstly, you can set this vertical offset. So it looks like it's zero by default, but if I say like 10, you can see it's, it's jumping, but it's kind of going towards the top as you can see there. So if I just make this like really high, like 50, yeah, it's going to be jumping very high. And then the other one you can set here is jump scale. So if I just comment out the vertical offset, so it looks like the jump scale here default is 1.4. So let's just say like 10. That's what the jump scale does. It just jumps right at you. So yeah, these are different properties that you can play around with. As I said, there's a bunch more effects you can choose from. These are just the top three that I like. So check out the package, which I'll definitely link below. And hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any problems. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.